Welcome to Buzz Around the Globe. India and Canada's relations have reached a new low. After Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau accused India of killing a Khalistani terrorist in the parliament, they shunted out top Indian diplomat. India was quick to retaliate and expelled a senior Canadian diplomat, Olivier Sylvester. The High Commissioner of Canada to India was summoned by the Minister of External Affairs today and informed about the decision to expel a diplomat based in India. Trudeau said in Parliament that Canadian intelligence agencies have been looking into the allegations after Sikh leader Hardeep Singh Nijar, a strong supporter of an independent Sikh homeland known as Khalistan. He was gunned down on June 18th outside a Sikh cultural centre in Surrey, British Columbia. Listen to how the Canadian PM raised the issue in the Parliament. Over the past number of weeks, Canadian security agencies have been actively pursuing credible allegations of a potential link between agents of the government of India and the killing of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nijar. Our top priorities have therefore been, one, that our law enforcement and security agencies ensure the continued safety of all Canadians, and two, that all steps be taken to hold perpetrators of this murder to account. Canada has declared its deep concerns to the top intelligence and security officials of the Indian government. Last week at the G20, I brought them personally and directly to Prime Minister Modi in no uncertain terms. Any involvement of a foreign government in the killing of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil is an unacceptable violation of our sovereignty. As you would expect, we've been working closely and coordinating with our allies on this very serious matter. In the strongest possible terms, I continue to urge the government of India to cooperate with Canada to get to the bottom of this matter. I know many Canadians, particularly members of the Indo-Canadian community, are feeling angry or perhaps frightened right now. Let us not allow this to change us. Let us remain calm and steadfast in our commitment to our democratic principles and our adherence to the rule of law. This is who we are and what we do as Canadians. Canadian Foreign Minister Melanie Jolie claimed that the concerns were raised with India and other top world leaders. The allegations uh, that a representative of a foreign government may have been involved in the killing of a Canadian citizen here in Canada, on Canadian soil, is not only troubling, but it is completely unacceptable. If proven true, this would be a grave violation of our sovereignty and of the most basic rule of how countries deal with each other. We've been clear, we will not tolerate any form of foreign interference. And as of today, and as a consequence, We've expelled a top Indian diplomat from Canada. The Prime Minister raised it also with Prime Minister Modi. He raised it with President Biden and Prime Minister Sunak as well. And of course, today we're acting by um, expelling a key diplomat, but we will get to the bottom of this. I expect India to fully collaborate with us and ultimately to get to the bottom of this. Does this diplomat have any direct link to this alleged assassination? It is the head of RAW in Canada, the Indian Intelligence Agency in Canada. Tonight I'm heading to New York where I'll be having dinner with the G7 foreign ministers. Of course I will be raising this issue with them. It is the UN General Assembly and therefore I will be meeting with many of my counterparts from around the world. Right now we know we are in an international security crisis and one of the, one of the fundamental rules behind the world's stability and security is the protection of each country's sovereignty. And we see this possible breach of sovereignty as completely unacceptable. The expulsion comes as relations between Canada and India are tense. Trade talks have been derailed and Canada just cancelled a trade mission to India that was planned for the fall. At the G20 meeting, Prime Minister Modi expressed strong concerns over Canada's handling of the Khalistani issue. Among the overseas six, 
during a meeting with Trudeau at the G20, according to a statement released by India's Ministry of External Affairs. The statement described the Sikh movement as promoting secessionism and inciting violence against Indian diplomats. It called on Canada to work with India on what New Delhi said is a threat to the Canadian-Indian diaspora. Canada has a Sikh population of more than 770,000, or about 2% of its total population. Do tell us what you think about this video in the comments section, and for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.